the narcissist will not take no for an answer. They will not accept your refusal. They will be persistent in demanding something. They won't take no for an answer. When you first come into contact with a narcissist, they can be very persistent and demanding. It's clear that they want something from you. They want your attention. They want you to admire them. They want you to validate their false self and the illusion that they are trying to portray. That is their main objective. It's to get you to notice them. It's to arouse your interest or curiosity. But if you refuse their proposal, that doesn't mean that they're just going to go away. They will be very persistent and this is due to their strong sense of entitlement. They believe that they have a right to you. They're very arrogant and audacious. And they just see you as an object that exists to serve them. They don't see you as a separate human being with your own interests. They think that if they want something, you should want it too. They will not take no for an answer, even if you make it clear to them that you are unwilling to participate. They will just see it as though you're being stubborn or difficult. They will not respect your boundaries. Because they have no respect for themselves. They expect you to be whatever they want you to be. And they expect you to see them however they want to be seen. They don't want you to have your own independent thoughts and ideas. Because that is a threat to their reality. They want to pull you into their world. While expecting you to accommodate them. And if you refuse to do that. In their minds there is something wrong with you. They don't self-reflect. They don't look at themselves to see what they've become. In their minds they are perfect. They are everything that you should want. And if you don't want them, there must be something wrong with you. When you are in a relationship with a narcissist, they will not take no for an answer. They might demand something from you, and you may choose to say no. You may choose to reject their proposal or idea. And this will deeply offend them. They are shame based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. So they don't see it as though you're rejecting their proposal or idea. They see it as though you're rejecting them. As though they're worthless and insignificant. 
they see it as an attack on their character because their character is built on a house of cards. It isn't real. It has no foundation or structure, which is why they can often seem so arrogant. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance because it isn't real. They're just pretending to be something they're not. And when you say no to them, it's like you've denied their false existence. It's like you've denied their false reality. It triggers a narcissistic injury, which is then followed by narcissistic rage. It triggers them to self-reflect for a short period of time, which will only make them angry or upset. Because when you put a mirror in front of the narcissist, they cannot stand to see their true reflection. They don't want to see themselves as they actually are. They want to be seen as perfect. They expect you to see them that way. But if you disagree with anything they've said or done, in their minds that means you think they're completely flawed. Because deep down that's how they see themselves. Which is why they abandoned who they really are and created a false self. But any time that you disagree with them or say no, it crushes their false self. Because the false self isn't real. It requires external validation. And if you're not constantly supporting their delusion, it falls apart. They revert back to their true self and they begin to feel completely flawed. It feels like an attack. And that is why they get so angry and upset. That is why they react so emotionally. While a normal person wouldn't be so bothered if you said no to them. Maybe they would understand. But the narcissist cannot understand because they lack empathy. They cannot understand or share your feelings or experience. They cannot put themselves in your shoes. So any time that you try to set a boundary with them, they just see it as though you're trying to hurt or offend them. They see it as though you're just trying to make their lives difficult and inconvenient. They lack empathy, so they cannot recognize that you have your own interests and needs. They don't always fully recognize the effects that their behavior has on you. And even when they do, they don't really care. They have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. So they expect you to make sacrifices for them. They expect you to give up something valued for their benefit or gain. The narcissist will not take no for an answer. They will not accept your refusal of their proposal or idea. They can be very arrogant or audacious. They believe that they have a right to do and say whatever they want. They have no respect for you. They have no regard for your feelings, wishes or rights. It's like dealing with an overgrown, unruly child. They are disorderly and disruptive. They lack organization.
It is very rare that you will experience a moment of peace while you are around them. They are not responsive to discipline or control. They lack obedience and compliance. They have to be in the authoritative position. They have to call the shots. They expect you to obey them. They expect you to follow their rules and regulations. They expect you to see and do things their way. Whenever you demonstrate any form of individuality or free thinking, that is an offence to the narcissist. That is a breach of their rules and regulations. And it will only cause annoyance and resentment, which will be brought about by a perceived insult or disregard for themselves. Because they are the biggest victims in the world. It's all about them and how life is so unfair to them. And yet they expect you to fix everything. They expect you to comply with their demands. They expect more from you than they expect from themselves. Because underneath the arrogance and entitlement, they know that they are incapable of doing anything on their own. Which is why they demand so much from you. Which is why they cannot take no for an answer. Because they know that they need you. They are constantly in survival mode. And in their minds, you are their only hope of survival. So when you reject their proposal or idea, it makes them feel like you are abandoning them. When you were supposed to be their life support, you were supposed to fix everything for them. This dynamic always goes back to their childhood. They were enabled by their parents to act in this way. They were never disciplined. When they wanted something, their parents gave it to them. Their parents rewarded their bad behavior, which has taught the narcissist that all they have to do is cause commotion to get what they want, which is why they will not take no for an answer. If you say no to a narcissist, it will only make them angry or upset. They will rage at you or they will become passive aggressive and give you the silent treatment or they will try to force you into submission they will try to intimidate you they will try to pressure you into doing something that you are unwilling to do they will try to obtain something from you by using force or threats without any regard for you because they are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They only care about themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at Narc Survivor, Dakota UK. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.